අපි ඔබේ S2 ඉතා පරිස්සමින් සුරකින්නට කටයුතු කරන්නේ නිවැරදි තාක්ෂණයෙන් පිරිපුන් පරීක්ෂාවන් ඔබ වෙතගෙන එමින් විෂම් කෙයා විශ්වාසනීය දැක්ම The much anticipated reappointment of the cabinet of ministers took place at the presidential secretariat this morning accordingly majority out of 41 cabinet ministerial positions changed while several remain unchanged this becomes the fourth cabinet since president maithripala sirisena took office in 2015 Accordingly Minister Lakshman Kiriala retained his position as the Minister of Public Enterprises and Candy Development as he took oath today. Dr Sarata Munugama who was formerly the Minister of Special Assignments was sworn in as the Minister of Science, Technology and Research, Skills Development and Vocational Training as well as Candy and Heritage. Dr Munugama has been given three ministries vacated by former ministers Susil Premajayanta, Chandima Virakori and SB Desanayake. S.B. Navina retook oath as the Minister of Internal Affairs and Vyamba Development. Minister Mahinda Amaravira was sworn in as the Minister of Agriculture in place of his previous portfolio of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources Development. The portfolio of Irrigation, Water Resources and Disaster Management is vested with Minister Duminda Desanayake, who was the Minister of Agriculture. Vijit Vijayamuni Soisa was sworn in as the Minister of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources Development and Rural Economic Affairs. This is a change from his previous portfolio of irrigation and water resources management. Minister P Harrison meanwhile took oath as the Minister of Social Empowerment filling the position vacated by former minister S B Desanayake. He earlier oversaw the Ministry of Rural Economic Affairs. Minister Kabir Hashim retained the portfolio of highways with road development being added to his responsibilities. He was the previous Minister of Higher Education and Highways. Portfolios of Minister Ranjit Madhuma Bandara remain unchanged as he retook oath as the Minister of Law and Order as well as Public Administration and Management. In the meantime, the Ministry of Prison Reforms was added to Minister Talata Atukorala's existing portfolio of Justice. Minister of Provincial Councils and Local Authorities Faiza Mustafa saw an addition to his responsibilities as the Ministry of Sports was brought under him. Former Minister Dayasiri Jayasekara created the vacancy when he stepped down as a minister. Minister DM Swaminathan was sworn in as the Minister of Rehabilitation, Resettlement and Hindu Religious Affairs. In the process he lost his portfolio of prison reforms. Minister Manu Ganesan's responsibilities remain unchanged as he retook oath as the Minister of National Coexistence, Dialogue and Official Languages. Minister Daya Gamage was sworn in as the Minister of Social Welfare adding to his Ministry of Primary Industries. Field Marshal Sarath Fonseca who was the Minister of Regional Development is given additional responsibility with the Ministry of Wildlife and Sustainable Development placed under him Minister Ravindra Samaravira who held the portfolio of Sustainable Development and Wildlife was reappointed as the Minister of Labour and Trade Union Relations following the resignation of former Minister WDJ Senavi Ratna Minister Sagal Ratnayake retains his post as Minister of Project Management Youth Affairs and Southern Development It is a point of note that former Minister of Justice and Buddha Sasana Vijay Das Rajapaksa who was removed from his position being given a ministry in the form of higher education and cultural affairs. Despite there being much speculation of former minister Ravi Karunanayake being handed another ministry such did not materialize. The president's media unit stated that rest of the cabinet ministerial positions remain unchanged. while state and deputy ministerial portfolios will undergo a shuffle tomorrow at present with the addition of minister vijay das rajapaksa to the cabinet there are 42 cabinet ministers 17 deputy ministers and 19 state ministers in the national unity government as ministers made their way out minister sajit premadasa responded to questions put to him by first at 9 minister do you think that this was done completely on a scientific basis well the decision making process that led to the cabinet reshuffle was engineered and pioneered and the leadership was given by his excellency the president and the honorable prime minister both of them did it in a very cordial manner through uh, consultation compromise and discussion so i think it is the prerogative of uh, his excellency the president and the honorable prime minister to make the relevant uh, decisions on cabinet appointments are you satisfied 
I am extremely satisfied with the ministry that I have got. The people are expecting that the cabinet reshuffle will uh, give solutions to most of the problems. Do you think that it's possible? Certainly, uh, uh, we have uh, a capable cabinet and I am sure that their performance and uh, excellence can be judged through the various uh, policy implementation activities that they will conduct from today onwards. Several other ministers meanwhile seemed satisfied with the proceedings. Minister, are you happy about the reshuffle? Yes, of course. I... Are you positive about the move? Yeah. Are you satisfied about the appointment, sir? Yes, very much.